Hey guys, before we get into the battle, I want to go ahead and plug the Women's Cup VGC tournament. Uh, this is a super important event. There's like so much disrespect that women get in the community, and I think this is a super, super important event where women get the respect they deserve. They get the recognition they deserve because there's so much high level play going on. We're in day two. This is top cut. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, the link to that will be in the description down below. This is a live event, but my battle is on YouTube. So you can go ahead and come back to it afterwards. I highly encourage you guys to check it out. Uh, but yeah, with that, let's go ahead and get into the video. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to week five of WBE VGC season one. This week we're facing off versus Randolph and his uh, London Bisharps. Uh, this week we're bringing a pretty interesting team. Basically, it's Choice Scarf, Charizard. It's the sort of the same strategy we brought, uh, we brought versus Stuff of Anime week three. Um, you know, beat up Assault Vest, Stamina, Mudsdale. We can beat up our own uh, Mudsdale with uh, Choice Scarf, Charizard. It'll allow me to outspeed Jolly, Max Speed, Dragapult uh, with 180 speed investment. Beat up Air Slash, Overheat, Scorching Sands. Uh, a lot of great coverage for his team. Solar Power makes this thing very scary if I decide to go for uh, uh, Dynamax uh, mid game. But yeah, we can go ahead and beat up the Mudsdale. Uh, let me go ahead and bring up the calcs for the Mudsdale. I have it written down here. <laughs> so the Mudsdale, high horsepower, uh, is able to cover for Magnazone, Body Press, takes advantage of Stamina. Uh, Last Shot's really good if I want to hit Dragapult if it decides to drop our stats with like Max Phantasm or Max Wormwind. Uh, it's great for hitting Terrakion, like Body Press does a ton of damage. Uh, it's probably just going to one-shot it, in fact, if I get enough uh, defense boosts. And at 28 uh, speed EVs, we actually hit uh, 59, which I forget what that's for because I'm recording this in post once more. Um, and yeah, it's just really nice. Uh, the Venusaur is actually really interesting. Basically, Nature Power turns into Moonblast, which, like, if we get the Misty Train off with our Klefki, uh, will allow me to hit Dragapult for a super effective move with this Life Orb. Frenzy Plant is actually really, really important this week. Under Sun, I'm able to outspeed the Terrakion, which... I'm scared of like beat up Terrakion with the Dragapult and uh, Frenzy Plant if I turn it into max overgrowth is a guaranteed one shot on 4 HP Terrakion with this life orb and if I were to run like Leaf Storm it, it would actually only do it, it would only be enough for like a 50% chance to one hit KO so I might be able to steal a game with Frenzy Plant there. Sludge Bomb is great for boosting my special attack if I decide to turn it into max ooze and Sleep Powder is overall a great move. Running a weakness policy, Klefki, this thing's able to take plus four max <laughs> rockfall. We couldn't do max knuckle, it like could not live that hit um, from the Terrakion. Dazzling Gleam is great for hitting the uh, Dragapult. And we ran this weakness policy just because there are a couple of Pokemon that might give me a weakness policy boost. And if I can get a very powerful Dazzling Gleam off, a lot of this team is pretty fairy weak. Thunder Wave is amazing for speed control, and Sunny Day is great uh, for just boosting these two guys, whether it be speed or the special attack stat. Hitmontop is running a Koba Berry, Close Combat, Bulldoze, Helping Hand, Wide Guard. Uh, it's, it's a really nice set. Basically, the Hitmontop, 44 speed, just outspeeds our Klepki by 1. Uh, Koba Berry is to allow me to take a max airstream from Dragapult. Wide Guard blocks Rock Slide, Heat Wave, Struggle Bug, Hyper Voice, anything they might want to go for. Uh, and expanding force and terrain if it comes down to that. Helping hand just helps out the, with the damage output. And Bulldoze uh, is actually really cool because it could give us a couple of opportunities to do things. Uh, it's great for speed control uh, and weakness policy on the Klefki if, if we decide to go for that. And it also lowers my Mudsdale's uh, speed stat, which could be really huge for lash out plays, which is really nice. Uh, and we already went over the, <laughs> the Mudsdale. Slowking is Scald, Expanding Force, Trick Room, and Prison. Basically, it's a super specially defensive. Uh, it's a super specially defensive uh, slow king to help me eat hits. Uh, the Cassie Berry is to allow me to take a max Phantasm from Dragapult, I believe. And Own Tempo is great for helping me take hits uh, from, or not helping me take hits for preventing confusion on the G Max Hatterene, which Randolph does have on his team. And yeah, uh, Scald, Expanding Force, Imprison, Trick Room. It's just for either setting up my own Trick Room or stopping Trick Room on his side of the field, and also it prevents Expanding Force from the Hatterene or anything that might want to go for it. But yeah, uh, with that out of the way, do me a favor, leave a like if you want to support the channel, buy your Chicago Black Flock merch, and let's go ahead and get into the battle. All right, guys, welcome to week five of WBE VGC. I mean, I already did the team builder at the beginning of the video, but I'm likely going to record that team builder after I, um, well, I mean, I am. I'm going to record the team builder after I actually do this battle. 
Uh, but you guys should have already seen what the team is built around. Honestly, this is a pretty scary week. I mean, I, I feel like I'm like always concerned about my matchups. But that's just because I get like stage fright and stuff. But yeah, uh, do me a favor, guys. If you haven't already picked up your Chicago Black Flock merch, that is in the uh, that's in like the little cards down below at the bottom of the video. But this week we're facing up versus Randolph. Uh, his link will be in the description. He's uh, a great dude. He seems very very nice, and his team's super scary. He has like Dragapult plus Terrakion, which is one of the most busted combos uh, I can think of at the moment. It's sort of like Sneasel and any other sort of justice, but with uh, Dragapults in particular, like it, it's a little bit more scary because like. Like, Dragapult is, is Ghost-type. You can't fake it out. Like, you can't fake out Sneasel, but they usually run Sash, so you could, like, double into it with, like, Mock Punch, Fake Out, uh, just to break the Sash pick up the KO. But this, this is a scary team. And wow, I actually did not expect him to bring the Thwacky or the Deli Bird. I'm a bit concerned about the Deli Bird. Um, yeah, Deli Bird's actually really scary. It has Fake Out, it has Hustle, it could be, like, a Dynamax Pokemon. Uh, I don't want, I don't really want to mess with that. I think what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and I'll lead off with uh, the... Venusaur Klefki, and as long as he leads with the Dragapult Terrakion, that should be a pretty nice first turn for me, because we are running the Frenzy Plant, it's a guaranteed one shot on 4 HP Terrakion. Um, in the back here, I actually really, really like Charizard, but I have to uh, get a Thunder Wave off on that Terrakion to outspeed it, um, which could be a bit scary, so I think I'm, I'm going to go like uh, Charizard Mudsdale here. Mudsdale in the back is really nice versus um, pretty much... It is like I don't think he's gonna bring both Thwacky and the um I don't think he's gonna bring like both Thwacky and the Deli Bird to the same match, so I feel comfortable bringing this just because it's like it's safe, you know. Like it only has one weakness on any sort of mode I could see him going. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Week five, man. Week five. We're just hardly not in playoffs. Like we have the same record as one of the teams in playoffs, but. Um, our differential slightly lower, so let's try to let's try to pick up a W this week. I'd very much appreciate that, so we could get into playoffs and uh, and you know, I guess get into playoffs. I, I feel like I've said playoffs like six times in the past thirty seconds, but I digress. We're gonna we're gonna get into playoffs. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Dragapult Deli Bird, actually a pretty scary lead. Um, I definitely don't want to sleep on that Deli Bird. It does have the potential to fake out. Uh, it has the potential to Dynamax, which is super, super scary. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to anticipate a Max Airstream. And I actually want to, I kind of want to immediately Max Guard. I kind of feel like I should Max Guard uh, and go for the Thunder Wave on that thing because it could be a huge threat. We're going to go for that. We're going to Max Guard and we're going to Thunder Wave. Ooh, do I burn my Dynamax just yet? No. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go Stamina Mudsdale and I'm going to Thunder Wave. Just play it a little bit safer. I don't want to burn the... um, Because, I, dude, if he Dynamaxes, I'm in trouble. Hustle Delibird could put in a ton of work versus this team. And if I can catch him trying to style on me, I'd be really happy. Ooh, is it the Delibird? Tell me he Max Airstream. Max Airstream make the most sense there. Because that means we eat that hit. That means we absolutely eat that hit. Tell me that's the Deli Bird. Show me the Deli Bird. It's the Dragapult. That's fine. That's fine, to be honest. I think I prefer that outcome. And maybe anticipating, like, a, uh, a Sleep Powder, you could have gone for a Fake Out onto the uh, Mudsdale slot here. So let's see. Do we catch the Fake Out in the right Pokemon? We do not, unfortunately. Uh, we will get a Stamina Boost here, but it would have to be from an Airstream, which, yep, we take that. Okay, Mudsdale does get plus one defense, and we're not in a terrible spot. We could stall out this entire Dynamax, and uh, I wouldn't mind going for the Thunder Wave onto the onto the Dragapult here. I think I might do that. I could also Dynamax immediately. Um, but I don't know if I want to do that quite yet. I might need a Dynamax already. Ooh, I'm really scared of this Deli Bird, though, I have to be honest. Let's try it. We're gonna max darkness this thing. Er, mm, We eat the hit, we'll just lash out in case he lowers our stats. Uh, and I'll also just go ahead and Thunder Wave it. I could have hypothetically Misty Terrain there in case he decided to go for the max Wind, uh, because what that would allow me to do is 
Ooh, weakness policy. Okay, hopefully we actually get this off then. <laughs> I'm pretty scared now. I shared weakness policy. Did not see that coming. I, I could have technically gone for the... Um, I could have gone for the big misty terrain there if you want for a dragon move. And we get the full para. We get the full para. Yes. Okay. That's good damage right there. That's good damage. All right. I'm actually... I kind of want a misty terrain to be honest. I kind of want a misty terrain. I don't know how useful Mudsdale is going to be in the remainder of this match. It looks like Charizard kind of goes in. I could also Dazzling Gleam. I think my play is just going to be... <sighs> Mudsdale's going to have to eat this hit. I'm going to Dazzling Gleam and Lash out. There's the Memento. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Uh, Mudsdale, I, like, if it goes down, I'm cool with that. It, it, this is more about, um, this is more about just getting the Dragon pulled off the field. And he gets the full pair again. Oh my god, I feel so bad. But this Lash Out's going to be doing literally the exact same amount of damage. Uh, because <laughs> we're getting so lucky. Oh my, that, guys, I'm going to keep it real with you. That was not my intention. Like, yes, full para is something that you can aim for with paralysis, but that was more just speed control. My, my Thunder Wave is purely a speed control option right there. Oh, man. So, I mean, we take an immediate lead here. I, I'm, I'm definitely scared of that weakness policy that uh, could be coming at our way. Um, there's the slow, bro. Honestly, I might hold on to my, to my boy here. I might hold on to the boy. I'll go ahead. Actually, mm, let's just body press. We don't have to use our attack stat then. And uh, I'll go for another Thunder Wave on the Terrakion, play it safe. The other day I was deadlifting, and uh, I ripped open a callus on my hand because I was trying to do a, a PR, and now my hand just hurts. So play even playing Pokemon slightly uncomfortable. I'm playing with my uh, controller on the desk. Oh my god! No, we're getting way too lucky. I feel really bad. I feel really bad. Once again, that was a speed control option to try to make it so I could bring in Charizard. Or even the Venusaur not have to worry about things. But, oh, we're getting so lucky and I feel awful. I feel absolutely awful. Alright, there's a burn. It doesn't really make up for everything I've done to this man so far. Alright, well, um, he might just have to forfeit here. Just because uh, he can't avoid the body press KO. And I should just be able to... Sunny Day here. Maybe I shouldn't reveal Sunny Day. I feel like Sunny Day is a given. I feel like Sunny Day is a given. I, I gotta DM this man. I have to apologize. Like, I just sent him a message. I'm like, bro, I'm so sorry. I was T-waving for speed control. There's the close combat. That shouldn't knock out at minus one. Or at essentially minus one because I'm at plus one. And we do get another uh, defense ba uh, defense raise here. So that should be a dead Terrakion. There is the burn on the Mudsdale, not not that it matters too much. Um, Mudsdale's pretty much good to go here. That should be game. We already revealed Lash Out, um, and I don't think our Pokemon differential really makes a difference, because it's it's game differential is how we score. We're singles. Singles in WB, they score based on Pokemon differential, because it's best of one. Uh, in VGC, we score based on, um, on game differential, so, like, you can get a 2-0 win, and that's that's 2 in your favor, where if it's like a 2-1 a win, you know, it's still 2 in your favor, but your opponent also gets a 1. So basically, as long as you don't get 2 owed, it's it's good for you. Here's the last shot for damage. I don't want to reveal any other information about my team, so I'm just going to try to click moves I've already clicked, and we can also get some info on this slow bro. There's the Scald. I really don't want to send in the Venusaur, because if I send in the Venusaur, he's going to see Frenzy Plant, which is not anything I want to reveal. I mean, I could Dynamax to avoid revealing it, which might be my play here. 
Yeah, I'll just Dynamax to avoid revealing it since we haven't printed Dynamax yet. Alright, Lash Out, not gonna do much. Because we haven't had our stats lowered or anything, but um, hopefully the Mudsdale goes down here. He's targeting into the uh, Klefki, which is fine. Klefki, can you go down to burn so I can send in the Venusaur and click the fun move? Alright, cool. Uh, Venusaur comes in and I can click the fun move now. In comes the Venusaur. I mean, we might be able to reveal an item here. I'll Sludge Bomb because it shouldn't make a difference. These two moves should KO since we're Life Orb. I really wish I didn't have to reveal this. There's the Protect. He's trying to get some more information. Smart, smart play, Randolph. Uh, hopefully my mud steel. I forgot what HP my mud steel was at here, but if it goes down, that's actually better for me because I can bring in the Charizard and just click a move like Air Slash. That's pretty much a given. Oh wait, we already saw leftovers. My bad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just Dynamax the uh, the Venusaur here. We don't want a real beat up or anything, uh, so I'm just gonna click some moves that are a given for Charizard. Because uh, if we show any more tech, that's actually bad for us. We're going to go ahead and Air Slash. Um, and I'll go for the Max Overgrowth onto this Slowbro for the KO. Unfortunately, we have to show the item. If I were to attack with my Charizard here... Oh, I, I guess I could have Max Airstreamed in. It wouldn't revealed. It would have revealed Scarf. I guess I could have done that. Honestly, I'm a little bit concerned. I'm hoping, I'm hoping my Venusaur moves first here so I don't accidentally... Because um, they're speed tied. My Venusaur and my Charizard. That's an awkward thing. Venusaur, please move first. Okay, good. Uh, had my Charizard move first, it would have revealed my Venusaur speed tier as being pretty low. So that's good. That, that's good that that didn't happen. I almost messed up there. Alright, let's get into game two. Um, so obviously Klefki's bringing... <laughs> Klefki's uh, coming game two. And unfortunately, we reveal Life Orb, so it gets a little bit more information there. I mean, I guess I could have gone for, like, Sleep Powder and Max Airstream. And that wouldn't have revealed my item. And the Max Airstream and the Sun would have KO'd. Alright. Yeah, let's receive the, the Randolph League card. Let's play with the same rules. Let me think. Um... I think I just play pretty much the exact same way, hoping that he ends up bringing something different. Like, I, I hope he goes with the Terrakion lead, because that, that helps me out a lot. It, it really does, if he goes Terrakion on the lead. I always have to lead off with the um, with the boy, though. Like, Klefki is such an important mana in this matchup. Or I suppose... If he doesn't lead Delibird this time, I'm not in a bad position to go beat up Charizard. And he knows I'm stamina, so he could think that it's safe to uh, go for the Max the Max Phantasm onto the um, Mudsdale after like a fake out. So like, if I were inner focus Mudsdale, he wouldn't want to fake out. But I don't think it's safe to make that call. I'm gonna go ahead and do what I did game one. Um, but, do I switch it up? You know, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to switch it up. If this doesn't work out, if this doesn't work out, it's fine. Uh, we're going to go Klefki Charizard, and hopefully that'll bait him into going for the fake out into Klefki once more. And I'm going to bring Venusaur in the back. Uh, and if we get the beat up off onto the Mudsdale, we're actually not in a bad spot at all. So we're going to bait him into going for fake out into the Klefki. Wanting to avoid the, uh, <laughs> wanting to avoid me getting Sunny Day up, because I did reveal Sunny Day, uh, which is kind of big. He's going to think, like, okay, well, Charizard could Sunny Day and mess me up here. Um, like, I, I don't want that to happen. And we are Choice Scarf on the Charizard this week, so we can go for the beat up into our, um, 
we should be able to safely go for the beat up into the Klefki slot, which will turn into the Mudsdale. And then from there, like we're at plus four with the Mudsdale defense wise. Um, yeah, like, I feel like we're in a not a bad spot. Especially since every hit raises our defense. Like if he goes for the max Phantasm and hits the Mudsdale directly, it just brings it to neutral. Like it, it neutralizes itself. Dragapult Deli Bird, there it is. And also, I kind of hope we catch a fake out into the Klefki, because that would be ideal, to be honest. Alright, let me self beat up Klefki. We are Choice Scarf, so we should outspeed this Dragapult. Go Mudsdale. This is a this is my week three tech, but uh, slightly adjusted because honestly, beat up Charizard's kind of solid. Beat up Charizard's a solid tech that you can't really make a call on definitively unless I've already revealed it. And he's gonna want to fake out the Klefki. Like he does not want to get Thunder Waved again. The, the Klefki fake out should be his play. Which means I'm going to get plus 5 on my Muds deal. Like immediate max defense. In comes the Muds deal. Let me see that fake out. He Dynamaxes. Yep. Honestly, I love when people catch like strong Pokemon and regular Pokeballs. It just looks so cool. I think the regular Pokeball is one of the best designs. Like just that plain red is great. You always see like Ultra Ball and Great Ball. I think the Great Ball is pretty ugly. Ultra Ball is okay, but regular Pokeball, you can never go wrong. Fake out. Come on. There we go. That's plus one defense. Now we outspeed and go for this beat up. That's one. And he did not go for. I, I know for a fact he did not go for the. Um, <laughs> he did not go for the Max Wormwind because uh, that would have been immune on the Klefki. That is plus five defense. And there's the max Wormwind. Okay, well that's on the Charizard, that's fine. That's fine. I don't mind getting minus one on this Mudsdale, it's more of a body presser anyways. Let's go ahead and send in the Klefki. It's going to be very hard for him to actually knock out my my boy here. I have to Dynamax, unfortunately. I don't like that, but that's just the truth. Uh, I'm going to set up a Misty Train to lower the damage from the Max Wormwind. And I'm going to go ahead and... Like, what mons did he bring last time? Nothing too scary. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Max Quake into the Dragon Ball to boost the special defense while I'm here. Klefki, or the, the Deli Bird could go for Memento, but um, if it Mementos, then I just have to rely on Klefki to beat the Dragapult. Because I would think he would Memento into Mudsdale to lower the damage output, but as long as I have like plus 6 Body Press, I'm not in a bad spot. There's the Ice Shard. He should max Wormwind here, but we can we can like lower that damage by a ton. Missy Terrain. And because we're grounded, we take uh, half damage from Dragon moves now. And we get a special defense boost. Oh, he just goes for the Phantasm. That is fine, I think. Not really. <laughs> Not really, because now we have a pretty tough time versus the Dragapult. The critical hit probably didn't matter at that point. There's my Max Quake. Boost the special defense a bit. And wow, I am going to have a rough time versus this Dragapult. If I can remove the Dragapult, it isn't over. Um, I can go for my Nature Power into it. And that will turn into Moonblast. But I think he's gonna target the boy here. Let me um let me attempt the nature power. And I'll just max quake again for damage. 
Hopefully it goes for like a max worm wind into the Mudsdale trying to lower the damage output. I would prefer that because a max airstream does not look good for me. There's the ice shard. Um, hopefully that means he didn't double into me because I revealed I wasn't sash last game. And no, that's a double. All right. We're kind of in trouble here because I have a really, really rough time versus um, Slow King. Luckily, though, we're only at minus one attack. We are only at minus one attack. We're not burned either. And we can't get burned. So we're going to boost our special defense again. And I think I want to raise my attack here. I'm not really scared of the Dragapult anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and go for a Max Knuckle into the Deli Bird. Or no, I shouldn't Max Knuckle because he's going to Memento. He's going to Memento here. Uh, so I'll go ahead and I'll just Max Quake once more into the Dragapult slot, expecting a Memento. And then hopefully, um, <laughs> hopefully I can pull off this win with uh, enough Body Press crits. Because that Mudsdale is going to be a huge issue. A huge, huge issue. Or the, the Slow King is going to be a huge issue if he brought it. I'm hoping he didn't though. If he didn't bring Slow King, I think I'm in a good spot. Because then body press just wins. There's the Phantom Force, makes sense. Probably gonna get Mementoed here. Don't reveal Slow King. Memento, that's fine. Because I am a body press machine now. So that was that was a really, really clever turn to uh, make sure I can't get anything out of this final Dynamax turn. So as long as there's no Slow King, this is doable. And I think it might even still be okay if there is. Because it does not enjoy body press. Not at this range. Like, we have a ton of defense. I'm a relaxed nature. <laughs> or, slow bro. I have slow king. I keep saying slow king. Ah, there's the slow bro. Okay, that's going to be a little bit annoying. Uh, luckily, he can't burn me for a while. And I do have plus two special defense with the assault vest. So I'm just going to start body pressing. Yeah, body press is my strongest move right now. There's the Phantom Force, he's going to give me a defense boost. That actually did a lot. There's my stamina, boost my defense a bit. Come on, two shot. Ooh, I think we lost here. I think we lost. Yeah, that is not doable. Not with the not not with the recovery there. Um, I suppose a lash out crit is the only way I'm gonna win here. I I just have to keep body pressing the slow the slow bro unfortunately. Dragapult isn't really scary. Like I just have to keep hitting it. If I get if I get a couple of really really good timed crits on that slow bro, yeah, I should be able to do it. Dragon darts is gonna do nothing with the terrain. Oh, he crits. Okay. Well, that's game. Alright. And I should drop to a Scald at this range. Okay. Let's think. How do we adjust? We have to be really, really careful with that slow bro. He sort of went for like the all my friends are dead scenario where you KO everything around the huge threat, uh, leaving it alone so there's no support, which is really, really smart. How do I adjust? Um, I could go trick room mode, possibly, because I think he's going to continue with the deli bird. I think he's going to continue with the jelly, the deli bird, and the, um, and the boy. Hmm. I mean, he definitely doesn't want to take the lash out. What if I Dynamax Klefki? What if I, like, just straight up Dynamax the Klefki? That's not at all my play, to be honest. It's an awful decision. But it's possible. It's a possible play. I need to stall at his Dynamax a little bit more effectively, though. That's the issue. Alright. 
I think he's going to do the exact same lead. I feel like he feels comfortable with it. Um, let me see something. Nah. Hmm. I'm running the Kasib Berry. I'm running the Kasib Berry, which should allow me to take the Ghost move. And then under Trick Room, I'm a lot scarier versus him. This is a tough... This is a tough matchup. Uh, I could also lead Mudsdale this time. I could lead Mudsdale Klefki and then get a very strong lash out versus him. I'm going to try that. I'm going to lead Mudsdale Klefki this time. I'm going to bring Venusaur in the back and Charizard. Because uh, Scarfzard could clean up in the endgame. And what I want to do is I want to bait him into going for the... Um, I want to bait him into going for the fake out turn one. Because he does, he's not going to let me go for a Thunder Wave, right? Uh, and if he goes for the max Phantasm, my lash out will be doing... Like, it's a, it's an amount of damage that he cannot ignore. Alright, there's Dragapult Delibird. I'm gonna go ahead and attempt the Thunder Wave. Do I attempt the Thunder Wave, or do I go for the... Dazzling Gleam. I mean, Dazzling Gleam will allow me damage off on it, and then I can always Thunder Wave it next turn. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna go for it immediately. Hopefully, he goes for. Uh, <laughs> if he self ice shards, I'm in trouble. I'm in. I'm in big trouble. But my last shot's gonna be doing chunks. I just don't want to get self ice sharded. <laughs> I just said sharded. <laughs> Such interesting commentary coming out from me, laughing at my own poop jokes. He should fake out into the Klefki, I would assume. And I'm hoping he just goes for the Max Phantasm as well, because that will allow me to get off a ton of damage. And I can probably sack Charizard. There's the self ice shard. Hopefully, it's into the Klefki, because then this lash out's going to be doing disgusting amounts. Come on, Max Phantasm, Max Phantasm. Yes, into the Klefki. Klefki is gone. That's fine. I'm about to lash out this thing and get tons of damage. And he he actually hasn't speed boosted yet, so Scarf Charizard outspeeds next turn. Alright, so I go Scarf Zard. I don't know if Air Slash KOs, though. I'm gonna Air Slash it. Mudsdale's at minus one. I have to keep the uh, Venusaur healthy in the back. And we're modest. We are modest. Let me think. Beat up wouldn't do much. Air Slash is my best bet. We do have some bulk on this Charizard. I'm just gonna max Airstream. Screw it. And Lash out. We're not gonna outspeed, but at the very least, this guarantees a KO one way or another. This will guarantee a KO one way or another on this Dragapult. And as long as Venusaur is healthy, I think this is doable. Because he can't KO both of my Pokemon now. There's the Max Phantasm. Into the Charizard. Do we tank it? We do not tank it. But that was uh, unfortunately my safest play. That was unfortunately my safest play. I was uh, definitely expecting him to want to target down into the uh, Mud Steel. There's the Memento. I think... I think we still pick up the KO, because we did lash out. 
And we have a healthy... I need this lash out to KO. This is essentially a neutral lash out. Okay, cool. We get the KO. Dang, uh... If I didn't Dynamax there, this would be a lot easier. This would have been a lot easier if I didn't Dynamax. We are at minus one defense, which is a little bit annoying, but we do have a full health Muds deal with Body Press as an option, which is incredible. If there is a... Okay, that's Terrakion. This is doable. There is no way this Slowbro takes a Frenzy Plant. There is absolutely no way. So here's my play. I'm going to Frenzy Plant into the Slowbro. This is Life Orb Frenzy Plant. He should not calc for this. I'm going to Body Press. And as long as my Mon survives, I think he has to target Mudsdale. And I don't know if he actually KOs it here. I can't let him set up a Trick Room, though. I, I seriously can't. Um, dang, I hate that I have to do this. Body Press. I need Mudsdale to survive. You have so much defense, Mudsdale. You got this. You got this, Mudsdale. You got this. I can't let Slowbro be alive, though, because Slowbro actually threatens both of these mons way more than Terrakion does. But I am also sacrificing my movement on this next turn. There's a close combat. He goes into he goes into Venusaur. He goes into Venusaur. I need this. If this Frenzy Plant connects, I win. I need this Frenzy Plant to connect. Come on. No! No! That is the only thing that couldn't have happened. That is... Oh, my God. Uh, I guess I did get lucky game one. I, d I guess I did get kind of lucky game one. All right, there's my stamina boost. Um, I could protect. Or actually, he doesn't KO me with Rock Slide from this range. And my next one will certainly KO. But I... Dang it. Okay. If he has Zen Head, but I lost. If he has Zen Head, but I lost. Man... Alright. I mean, Mudsdale, Mudsdale eats the hit. There's the Protect. I need you to not have Zen Headbutt. He's close. He's Scarf Close Combat. He's Scarf Close Combat. He doesn't make up the KO. Come on, come on. Come on. Mudsdale, you're, you're back at neutral defense. I need you to KO. I think we did this. I think we just barely did this. I just have to not miss this KO. Oh my god, this is so scary. Do I even bother checking the accuracy? It's 90% accurate. There's a 1 in 10 chance for us not to KO. Um, Last Shot is still stronger. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I just need you to land this one hit. Come on, Venusaur. Come on. my One of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I just need you to land the hit. No! <laughs> that was literally how I lost. Oh, no. Tell me you targeted Mudsdale. Tell me you just don't have a hit. For Tell me you don't have Psychic. There's the Scald. Tell me you live. Tell me you live. Tell me you live. Tell me you live. Oh my god. You're kidding me. You're kidding me, dude. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm so upset, dude. That makes me so sad. I, I am honestly at a loss for words here. 90% accurate move. Misses the only two times it matters. Oh, man. That Because that would have KO'd. 100%. That was, that was going to be a KO. It's Life Orb Modest Frenzy Plant. Um, I guess my only out here is a crit with the Lash Out, which it's not going to crit. <laughs> I'm so disappointed, man. Alright, well, it is what it is. I got lucky game one. He got very lucky game three. Well, uh, I guess that's uh, that's it for week five, guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move on to that call. I mean, it was out of his control. It's not like it was really his fault. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's just try to you know, play a little bit better next week, and uh, we'll continue. Let's go ahead and get on that call with Randolph.
Yeah, I can hear you. Bro, I'm so sorry for those misses, man. It's it's all good. I got pretty lucky game one with the paralysis. But I was oh, I was so disappointed because I had like a 90% chance to win twice. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm lucky, man. What, yeah. with, a, with a calc or with just uh, without missing? It was... It was just without missing because uh, Frenzy Plant's a ninety percent accurate move. Ninety, yeah, that's that's, that's yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm really sorry. Like, I, can't, I can't celebrate this win. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's just that's look. Like, I was I was crazy. dying in my chair. I was literally like, because because the first Frenzy Plant I went for, I was like, okay, there is no way the Slowbros calc to eat Modest Life or Frenzy Plant. Because uh, no yeah, no the, the entire point of the Frenzy Plant was to ensure I KO Dynamax Terrakion. Um, because okay, yeah. 150 yeah. base power max overgrowth always one shots um 4 hp dynamax terrakion right okay, so yeah. i was like if it were leaf storm i would have been concerned because it's the same accuracy for less power and decreasing power at that oh, so man, i was yeah. like i was like we got this we should have like one or two opportunities to click this move so as soon as i missed it that first time and then you didn't ko the the venusaur i was like this is yeah. possible this is possible uh and yeah, then i, I went missed, for it i think i should have gone for the rock slide there you know i don't know why i didn't i was thinking i either flinch or I go for a close combat and i was just hoping that close combat would do enough to just i don't know could cause venusaur issues but it didn't so i was like in my hands thinking oh i should have gone rock slide try for the flinch it would have done more damage anyway but then yeah then obviously the the, the first miss happened and i was like okay i'll protect this turn Hopefully you go for the slow row again, and then maybe I can get lucky with a critical hit. That didn't happen, <laughs> and then I got lucky with the miss, man. So it's just a, it's ridiculous. It's all oh, good. Man, man. I'm I'm on a little bit of a losing streak, two in a row here. Uh, dang, oh, I thought man. I had it. I mean, but I did I did get lucky game one though, and I felt bad. I literally had to go and apologize. I was like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, you did you did, you did DM me on uh, Discord. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I think I think game one, like I think you still had the edge, but I think you know if I hit one more attack with the Dragonport, it may have been different, and then. I got prizes with the uh, tracker as well, but it's just yeah. happens. But I'm never mad like when this happens. It's just it is what it is, right? The, 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 whoever designed these moves and the mechanics, we got we, we got to blame them, guys. Yeah, <laughs> like. Like, I, I, I'm not, like, upset with you. I was literally just like, well, it was out of his control and it was out of mine. It was just the game. Exactly, yeah. I, but I was, oh, my God. I was so upset because I was really excited to click Frenzy Plant. I was like, I know that this yeah. is mostly a Dynamax option, but if I get to click Raw Frenzy Plant, I'm going to be so happy. And then yeah. it was like, I get to click it. Uh... <laughs> oh, man, it sucks so much. Yeah, it really does suck. It's all good, though. Um, What was I going to ask? Uh... Oh yeah, the uh, the what was the thoughts behind the behind bringing the Thwacky this week? I'm I'm uh, confused about that. So I think Thwacky was just here. I think literally just for some gla grassy glide support. Honestly, I think I think I think personally, I don't think Thwacky should have been tier four. I think it's such a good Pokemon. Um, it actually, I mean, it just hits things super hard. And even if like even if we don't, you know, even if they don't come up against a Pokemon that it you know is super effective against, it still does a lot of damage. Like uh, Woodhammer with uh with the um miracle seed just does a lot of damage really so i was just trying yeah. to like just ensure i just needed to hit and maybe the priority grassy glide could have got like some chip damage or it could have got like uh it could have removed the sash for example or something like that um yeah <laughs> yeah i just bring Frankie. It's, it's, like, it's like my mascot now so i just bring it <laughs> yeah and the fake out support's nice man like uh exactly, it yeah. gets it gets a lot of good tools yeah 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 um honestly i i feel like the togepi was like my super low tier pick that is like Loki the team mascot, but I've only brought it like week one. Yeah, so to be honest, we actually we prepared for the Togepi. That's like that's like our main thing. That's why I brought the Deli Bird with like Ice Shard to try and if you had a Sash, get rid of that. So we really did prepare for the Togepi. Mm -hmm. Um so but yeah, when you prepare for a Pokemon though and you don't bring it, it's actually worse than when you do bring it. Because we yeah. spent so much time <laughs> on that, and if you don't bring that, it's like okay, what do I do now? <laughs> so Yeah, uh, like I was completely yeah. prepared for beat up uh for beat up uh Terrakion. We've still not used that yet. It's crazy. Yeah, maybe no. Next week. So whoever, whoever, whoever's watching this, my next opponent, um, maybe it's your turn or it's your time to get the beat up. Yeah, that's how I am. Like, I drafted a really strong Sun team, and I, I have yet to go full Sun mode. Like, I have yet to be able to yeah. just... I don't think I've clicked Wildfire in the Sun once this season. That's actually crazy. That's yeah. Crazy. I think it's because of the, the draft, right? Like, you don't yeah. expect people to have these Pokemon, and you have to prepare for what they have, like... I think we brought Healing List just to kind of like, if you did bring Sun, like just to show you we've got something for the Sun. Yeah. I wasn't even really going to probably bring it, but it's just there to be like, okay, we, this is an option for you. So mm -hmm. when you're building a team, you've got to think about that uh, Healing List, right? And like, when in VGC do you ever have to really worry about Healing List in the meta? Like, yeah, it's really a scary happen. Pokemon though. Like Life Orb plus Solar Power Hyper Voice, that picks up KOs on a yeah. lot of things. Yeah, exactly. So, but yeah. Um, it's crazy. 
Honestly, like uh, this was this is a rough matchup. Uh, you know, it ended with a lot of luck on both of our sides, uh, which is a little yeah, bit unfortunate. Sure. But that's just the game we play. Uh, guys, yeah. if you want to do me a favor, go ahead and throw Randolph a subscription. Uh, he's a great dude. He's a really nice guy, uh, and he knows his way around Pokemon real well. So uh, go ahead and head over to his channel if you want to do me a favor and do that. Uh, but yeah, uh, with that, I'm gonna call it, guys. Randolph, you want to say uh, goodbye to the people on my channel? Yo. Everyone on Moxie's channel, see you guys later. Everyone on my channel watching this as well, make sure you go and check out Moxie, a really cool dude. And, you know, obviously, I'm sorry for the, the miss, but at least, you, at least you take it well. Uh, oh, yeah. Nice a lot of people do get mad, right? Like, I've seen people at tournaments like have, like, verbal arguments. In, in, it's, not, it's, it's not out of our control at the end of the day. Yeah, like, it's it's no one's fault at that point. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and call yeah, it there. Thank you, man. All right, I'll, I'll be talking to you soon, man. Uh, have a nice night, thank everyone, you, on my video. I will see you guys in the next one.